It's recommended with a Ross engine after the first uh, initial 10 hours of running to tighten down the cylinder head bolts. The cylinder head uh, seats down and it, sometimes the, the bolts can come a little bit loose on the top and it can cause a little bit of seepage, consequently uh, a little lack of compression happening. And we do have a little tiny discharge here uh, between the cylinder head and, and the cylinder barrel here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the shroud here and the spark plug give us access to the cylinder head bolts on the top, torque them down correctly and replace everything and hope for the best. Cylinder shroud coming off. Please, Kent, Mr. Cameraman, can you come over here? Before we've had a chance to do anything, we had a little rattle before on our motor and I've just found out exactly what it is. We can see that not only have we a loose cylinder head nut, but we have one that's actually come all the way off. Okay, as we've had uh, one cylinder head nut that's become displaced, we're going to back off all the, the, the other three cylinder head nuts now and lock tight them, and then we can put them all the way back on again and tighten them up individually to the correct torque. We're gonna to clean off the residue that we've got around there to begin with. If we still get some seepage from here, we're gonna to have to replace the cylinder head gasket. And we'll run the engine again and then we'll see if we've got anything coming up after that. Put the nuts on finger tight first. If you try and put them on with the tool first, there's the possibility of cross-threading. And once that happens, then we have to replace the, the studs, which means all the cylinder head assembly has to come off and you have to uh, order new studs and everything else. Ideally, for this application, we want something that's in pound inches and newton meters set this to our correct torque setting and our correct torque setting is 10 newton meters alternatively it will be 7.68 foot pounds of torque it just needs them all to be equal otherwise we'll distort the head we should find a little there's the click and we go opposite we've now torqued down our cylinder head correctly we've put the shroud back on again and while we're at it, we're going to replace it with a brand new spark plug. This one's done just over 20 hours, so we're going to replace this one. The correct number. Again, making sure that it goes in finger tight first. Usually, quarter turn, okay, from finger tight. On this spark plug cap, it is necessary to have uh, this little aluminium cap on. They do have a tendency to come loose, to work their way loose. So, it's best to put them back on again with a pair of pliers, okay, but if you really want to, you just score up the thread on here a little bit and that means it then has a bit more resistance when you put it on and it has uh, uh, less tendency to come loose. Done.